also the Minister of Environment and Natural Resources Management, Conrad Franz Nima has urged the people of Matibele and South Province to embrace the indigenization and empowerment drive as it is meant to emancipate Zimbabweans from the shackles of economic slavery. Speaking at the Zanupi Provincial Coordinating Committee meeting in Rwanda, Conrad Nima explained that the law, which was enacted in 2008, seeks to redress the colonial imbalances that were meant to marginalize the indigenous Zimbabweans through requiring that they should own at least 51% stake of all foreign owned companies. He said it's important for the leadership to be seen at the forefront of this program by disseminating information of this regard as well as being major players in various sectors of the economy. Minister Neymar reiterated that the government will not back trade on its road to economic independence and urged people to prepare to secure control in many companies found in the material land South province. Speaking of the same occasion, the UK provincial chairman expressed confidence that people in the province will rise to the occasion and ensure that the program is a success. Our thoughts with Dr. Lina Bucci was employed in married couples and the younger generation to uphold the values enshrined in the marriage constitution institution saying a strong nation can only be built on the foundation of a strong family unit. Speaking on the sidelines of the leadership forum organized by the gracious women and husbands at the Fellowship International President of the Association of Foster Women Beauty said the church should seek to promote marriages and reverse the tide of divorce, the breakdown of family relationships, and the disappearance of community values. Mr. Carlos Kandinja is looking for his daughter, Trainor Kandinja, age 19, who went missing from house number 6 at Mount Brogeti in Harare. Trainor Kandinja just disappeared from the house on the 11th of February 2011. And on information of the wearable, or alternatively conduct the nearest police station. Mr. Kandicha is appealing to try more if she's listening to come back home or at least notify the family of their whereabouts. A prominent religious leader in Indian administered Kashmir has been killed by a bomb outside the mosque in Tilnaga. Government officials in Kashmir said Maulu Vishok Ahmed Shah was entering the mosque when the bomb went off. The blast follows a law in separatist violence in Kashmir, which is claimed by both India and Pakistan. The attack was the first of its kind since 2009 when separatist leader Fazal Haq Khorish survived an attempt on his life. This news broadcast comes to you from CBC News. A Guatemalan judge has granted the divorce petition of President Alvaro Colom and wife Sandra Torres, clearing the way for the first lady to compete in September's presidential election. The couple filed for divorce last month and family court judge Nuri Kroka reached a decision last week but had to delay issuing her ruling until other magistrates reached on certain separate motions filed by various individuals trying to block the divorce. Hello? Torres announced last month that she planned to run for ah, presidency so, so, so. under the coalition no, of Colombs Uni Party and the yeah, National Alliance ticket. The Guatemala's constitution bars close yeah. relatives of the president from oh, sitting behind the they... office, hence the move by the first lady ah, to seek the divorce. Four Hamas militants have been killed in Israeli air attacks on the southern Gaza Strip. Oh, the threat bring the toll from several days of Israeli strikes to at least 18, including oh. several civilians. Israel says it is responding to a Hamas missile fired at a school bus. The military wing of Hamas said that Hello. attack had been in response to the killing of Hamas leaders. Oh. Oh. In sport, the National Paralympic Games, which started on Friday in January, will end today with a closing ceremony to be attended by senior government officials. At the end of the sporting extravaganza, there will be a selection of athletes who will represent Zimbabwe at the All Africa Games in Mozambique. A total of 963 athletes are attending the Games. Five Zimbabwean caretakers are confident they will fly the country's flag high at the Japanese Shikukai Karate World Championship to be hosted by Shihan Jack Jacobs in South Africa early next month. The five caretakers are Malvin Tunisora, Eugene Shayanoako, Brian Kupara, Tungamirei Matimbamoto, and Paddington Nishangam. One of Zimbabwe's top instructors, Senator from 
Sarili has been taking the caretakers through a grueling preparation. He says the caretakers are ready to face any challenge that will confront them. The Japanese Shukokai World Championship, which will feature semi conduct fights, will be held in Victoria, South Africa on the 6th and 7th of next month. In the Premier Soccer League matches lined up for today, Black Mambas will host Zimbabwe Saints at Morris Depot in Harare. Motor Action entertain Dynamos at Rufaro Stadium. All Mushroom will travel to Bulawayo for a date with Highlanders at Baba Heath Stadium. Kiglon take on Wangwe at Wange at Kwanjira Stadium. And that ends this news bulletin. Monday to the Friday, it's the big countdown between 6 and 7 p.m. on Africa's finest. Power.